I went back to my grandmother's home. Mm. After going back there, the environment could not even sustain me more mm -hmm. than even before. Mm -hmm. I decided to call that guy. He, de he decided not to pick my calls. So when I went back, one day I decided to just let me go and pick my clothes. So when I went back, I found that guy with, a, with another woman. In the same house. In the same house where we were living. Mm -hmm. With the same with another woman, they slept there. They had already t uh, cooked some tea. Mm -hmm. Now the woman had already taken a bath. She has already dressed my clothes. Your clothes? Yes. And uh, I found the, the lady sleeping uh, under my bed. She was on my bed. Mm -hmm. Now, I had nothing to do because of that... I still I don't have um, I don't have strength because you were just fresh from giving birth. No, I have not even given birth. Mm -hmm. I was just sick at the hospital uh -oh. for one week. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have strength, you know. So I'm um, going back. Founding my man has done for me like that. Mm -hmm. So when I asked the guy, told me you can go, mm -hmm. you know, before even start packing the guy started packing for me she he picks my bags and throws them away he threw your bags away yeah. oh hey guys welcome back again and this is bob shakula show bring you stories stories that will emisha peers that will masisha jami here people come tell their stories on this bench and by the way guys on my good fans thank you so much for your support you've been supporting these guests whatever they have to share i know it has been educative to you it has been entertaining you at the same time and it has also been teaching you something that's why you've been supporting this people since i started this show i shall be airing how they're faring on whatever they've managed to do whatever they've, you've managed to do for them you've been paid school fees for their kids those who are left widowed or those who are left as single mothers you've stood with them we found lawyers here who've been able to represent our ladies who come to this show in court still they have gotten their right of share or their share from what they deserved to get or should be having today of these amazing guests who has gone who has gone gone through a lot or who has this who has seen it all to a point that her own man whom she trusted ended up infecting her with hiv and aids she'll be taking us through her story walking us through her life story from a point she started up to the point she is right now hopefully you shall stay tuned my guys before i roll on the video i would like to proudly say that this show has been sponsored by olive trust the developers these are companies selling land selling their lands at, at affordable prices from 95000 Kenyan shilling you can start owning a land in Malindi in Matu 30,000 shillings installment and conducive duration for paying the remaining balance. Their title deeds are real. You can do your search. You can call them, do the search. They are processed within 30 days. Call them Olive Trust Developers. Let's invest and grow together. Without further ado, I would like to introduce my guests for today's show. Maybe by your name, background, then you got your story. Welcome to my show. This is Bob Shakula Show. Okay, thank you. My name is Josephine Akini. Mm -hmm. I come from Butere. Yes, Josephine. Welcome. Okay. I will, I came from Butere. Mm -hmm. In Butere, I was raised up there with a stepfather and my mom. Mm -hmm. So I agree with my stepfather since I was young mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. I'm now like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. My side of story, what I can share with you, starting when I was in class three, I used to have my elder brother who is my step my stepbrother. Mm -hmm. My stepbrother, one day, we used to to stay in one house sharing everything. He was younger than you? No, he's older than me. Now, we were sharing everything because he was older than me and I respected him so much. Mm -hmm. But one day he decided to neglect me, molested, he molested me through sexually. How did it happen? Now, I was sleeping, where I was sleeping, it was on in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. He used to have uh, his bed the other side and my bed the other side. Mm -hmm. But when I was sleeping during the night, we were sleeping almost three people. But he, he wake up 
at night and neglected me. Now because of that and I had nobody to lean or even to explain to even my mom because my mom remember my mom used to make alcohol all the time she was busy making alcohol her, I know how, knew how to sell it to the customer so that we could even get food mm -hmm. now I couldn't even I, do, I didn't have that authority, authority to share to him because to her because I, I, I already had that fear to share what happened with my elder brother mm -hmm. now when after that I just continue going to school you didn't sell anyone i didn't tell anybody about that story and did he hurt you like how was it what was the pressure because you know he was older than you yes it he was older than me mm -hmm. but now remember he's my uh, my step brother mm -hmm. uh, he used to tell me i'm staying to i'm stay i'm living in their compound which is not our compound now uh, there's no way I could even tell the stepfather nor my mom because I know I knew my mom could not even listen to me what I was saying. So I, I decided just to keep it to myself. Mm -hmm. So and did you do this often? No, just once. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, after doing that. Uh, by that time, we were also in. He he was in class four, and I me I was in class three. Oh, primary. Yes. But you said you didn't bleed or anything. It was just like. Yes, yes I didn't bleed. Mm -hmm. I was still young by that time. No, I couldn't even even explain to anybody, even my teacher. Mm -hmm. I decided to keep it to myself mm -hmm. for a while. Now, be, uh, despite I keep it to myself, it used to hurt me so much mm -hmm. until today. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, after all that had happened with my stepbrother, mm -hmm. now my mom continues selling that alcohol. Remember, this is a home where there's nothing. If he, he could, she could not sell that alcohol, we could not even get how to eat. Mm -hmm. Now, my mom will wake, she will wake up early in the morning, make those alcohol, sell to customers. People are many at that home. They are taking alcohol. They are drunk and making noise. No way you can even read. And the, yes, they were selling the illicit brew just in the compound. Yes, and this is what was sustained in the family. Yes. So people could come in your compound, get drunk. Yes, since from six maybe until even nine p.m. at ten, they are still there. They are making noise. You cannot even take your book and read. Mm -hmm. Now you just decide to sleep. Maybe sometimes you are sleeping without eating. Mm -hmm. Now after that, now my stepfather. She had a, he had a friend. Mm -hmm. Now this friend, they were they they like each other. Mm -hmm. They used to like each other. Everywhere they could walk, they were together. Mm -hmm. And now one day when I was still that in class three, I can remember it was in two o eight. Mm -hmm. uh, my stepfather and that guy they went away because that day my mom didn't have that uh, illicit brew to sell to the customers. Mm -hmm. They went away to, away to take it somewhere. Now not from your home. Yes. Now when they come back in the evening, they start quarreling, and you, by bad luck they were neighbors, you mm -hmm. see, and they are friends. Yeah. They start quarreling quarreling they beat each other now my father my stepfather starts shouting mm -hmm. the sons to his younger brother came mm -hmm. decided to come and help him when they came they decided to beat the friends to my stepfather they beat him until he was taken to hospital mm -hmm. uh, he was unconscious when he and uh, when he reached to the hospital he passed away now they they are a problem again started from there after that had happened. Mm -hmm. Now because they were from one clan, the people of clan claimed that my father, my stepfather killed that guy. Mm -hmm. They decided to call the police, take my father. My mother decided to run away, but by bad luck she came back again. I don't know what she was coming to do. Mm -hmm. They also take my mother. And remember we are in class three, my step, my younger brother was in uh, in grade one mm -hmm. now 
my elder sisters who are my step sisters and brothers who are not around mm-hmm. they are not even communicating we don't we don't we don't have anybody to lean on mm-hmm. only my grandmother and um, my uncle mm-hmm. now my mom she has been taken to prison now they were jail for five years by that time now we remain at the, we remain to this home now before the burial date now the people from clan decided to come and burn everything from our home so they they already accused your stepfather of murder yes mm-hmm. now yes they have already accused him now they are coming to burn everything and remember we 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 were the only people who were there now i'm um, the uh, at that time i was not even I, I was not even mature enough to take care of my younger brother. Mm-hmm. Now we are there. We don't know what to do. They are saying they will come and burn our home. We don't know how to where to go. Mm-hmm. My mom, my stepfather is not around. Mm-hmm. So we decided to look for help from my mom's place where she come from. Mm-hmm. Now my grandmother and my uncle they decided to come and pick us. We went there. So we stay with our uncle and my grandmother when we were there we were taken to school sometimes you don't have a uniform mm-hmm. you come from school when I, I now I'm in grade 5 mm-hmm. we are coming to school though uh, when I was in grade 5 I used to f- perform despite mm-hmm. challenges I could even be number 3 now you come from school you went back home you found your grandmother have, has nothing she has totally nothing, nothing to give to yes for lunch now you just take water or maybe you go under tree you look if there is some guavas you take one then take water and then you go back to school okay. we continue like this and my uncle my grandfather by that time was also sick mm-hmm. my grandfather uh, had uh, those jiggers mm-hmm. which could not even make him to walk yeah she, now he was just sleep he was just sleeping there maybe in the house you could, you what you can do for him just take for him some porridge or water when he calls because he was not seeing properly mm-hmm. now my uncle my, my uncle he had money he was he, at least he could get something but now the uncle could even go to the portion mill because my grandfather had a portion mill now be, instead of just taking maize and giving you some even a good flour that is your uncle yes and my uncle could have that you, you broom sweep the the flour which is down where which uh, every people have stepped on mm-hmm. and then put in the bucket bring to my grandmother mm-hmm. and then my grandmother cooked up for us because now we don't have anybody to mm-hmm. help us you continue doing for us that mm-hmm. even if you are sick and you you are from school mm-hmm. you just sleep there you take water no pain killer no support you just sleep there even if uh, and if you say it, you told him uncle today i'm feeling like a man and well and i don't have even medicine he will say, tell you you just die mm-hmm. why why are you asking me that why are, your mom and your father they are not around you just die now we continue living with my grandmother and the uncle now because we didn't have any option to do oh mm-hmm. uh, i went to grade 6 now when i was in grade 6 now you know a girl need some other things to use now sometimes i couldn't i could not even afford pads what i could even just go to school use some clothes going to school so that even the only thing so that i could go there and get some education mm-hmm. just continue i go there so, so even some sometimes teacher teacher can call me and tell me just why can you come and do this mathematics 
mathematics i fear because I, i'm not comfortable because of that yeah yes so i just go there do it but i'm not comfortable sometimes or sometimes if i know i'm not i'm not feeling good and i'm like that and i don't have even pad i just decided to stay at home i continue staying in my the, my, my uncle over weekend now on saturday uncle can tell you go to the garden so that we are going to dig he can give you a very big space for you to dig and remember yesterday you didn't even take supper you sleep like that you will dig until 10 am you are going back home nothing nothing totally the grandmother has nothing to give you now when i went to class 7 the same thing happened to me but i didn't this i didn't lose hope i went and do my class 8 got 272 marks by the time i was in class class 8 my stepmother and my father the my stepfather and my mom mm -hmm. they come back from prison now mm -hmm. now when they came back they had no place to even go and sleep they started renting where a nearby shop a nearby market where you are going to to take to take our shopping they live there and one day they decided to go and build a home so now after doing class eight i went to mombasa staying with my cousin my cousin used to instead of go showing you the right direction mm -hmm. because she was older than me but the only thing she can show you is those about just men how you can talk to men mm -hmm. I, she used to tell me it is not a must you go to school you can even stop from there you mm -hmm. can get married and remember i'm after I'm, i've just done class it i'm still young and oh, you yes mm -hmm. she could tell me it is not a must just when you go to class a to form one you just stop from there get mm -hmm. married mm -hmm. but uh, according to me i used to say eh, i must go to school now a uh, good luck i get a person take take me to form one it was a day school i started there in form one when i was in form two Mm -hmm. my step now i will now by that time now i'm living with my stepfather mm -hmm. and my mom my stepfather started it, it is all the time quarreling sometimes you sleep without eating tomorrow you are supposed to go to school you have no way my mom cannot even sustain me anything the the basic needs of a girl she cannot give me mm -hmm. now when i was informed to a meet a boy mm -hmm. when i meet a boy because of of lacking response basic need from my mom at this time you're informed yes mm -hmm. i'm informed too now i'm lacking this basic need from my mom now mm -hmm. i get a boy who was by that time at Masena University, uh, he, he, we started dating. Mm -hmm. By bad luck, I was pregnant for him. So when Why I say by bad luck? Because I was not expecting that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, when I was pregnant, he decided to say that that kid was not did not did not belong to to him. Mm -hmm. Maybe I had uh, another man. Now I decided to go after giving birth after all the situations with my mom and stepfather mm -hmm. at that home when I'm pregnant until I give birth and go back to school. Mm -hmm. I, I I started again fr afresh from form one. So by that time I decided now to read. Mm -hmm. But the the environment where I was still coming from, where my stepfather and mom coming from could not sustain me to even read because mm -hmm. all the time if you think you are coming to school back home you are feeling like even i could even just remain at school mm -hmm. until maybe i do my form for because now what i'm going to do at home is just all the things you just stress mm -hmm. now when I, I i went to form two i just continue maybe i sleep angry with my son i continue go, coming to going to school take but though I was stressed up, 
after that we registered when I was uh, I went to form three at the same school now. You registered for KCC. Yes. Now I'm in form four. <clears throat> Sometimes my dad, uh, my stepfather could even chase us with our mother away. We ask where we can. We could even sleep. Mm -hmm. We don't have that opportunity where to sleep. Even it is at maybe 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. in the night. We ask the, the, the neighbor where we could even just sleep until morning so that I, I can go to school with my son. Mm -hmm. So after form four, I decided, no, if this could be the only way I can still be living like this, it's better for me to get a ma to get married. Mm -hmm. Now I met a, a boy. Now I decided to get married with my firstborn. Mm -hmm. When I went there, we stayed. But after one, well, after four months, I got pregnant. Mm -hmm. After getting pregnant, the man seriously he changed, starting doing for me. Maybe he could go away, mm -hmm. sleep out of that house. Even mm -hmm. he could even come tomorrow, mm -hmm. or maybe come during, maybe at at 11 p.m. Mm -hmm. or he could even sleep away mm -hmm. and he doesn't want me to ask mm -hmm. now i just i i continue just living there though i was stressed up i was crying mm -hmm. i had no way to do mm -hmm. so one day i i felt sick at when i was there mm -hmm. when i felt sick when i was there with the that man when i felt sick when I, when I felt sick at that time, when I felt sick at that home, the guy was not around. But I texted him and I told him, I'm sick. I'm not feeling good. I'm sick. And that, I, I told him, let me send for you some 200, 200 shillings. You, if you are coming back, you bring for me some painkillers. That is your mom? Yes. Mm -hmm. So after sending that 200 shillings, he didn't come. He didn't call until tomorrow. Now I'm sick. Mm -hmm. the, the mother of that boy mm -hmm. is not, she was not even bothered. Now I said, so I be, I became more serious. Mm -hmm. I was seriously sick. Now they took me to the hospital. When I went to the hospital, that guy didn't even call for the one week when I was admitted. And this is your man? Yes. And I am admitted. And by that time I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. And no call, even confirming that I was treated or not. Mm -hmm. After now, I had nothing to pay at the hospital by that time. Mm -hmm. By good luck, I get somebody who could even pay for me. After paying for me the bill of the hospital, I went back to my grandmother's home. Mm -hmm. After going back there, the environment could not even sustain me more mm -hmm. than even before. Mm -hmm. I decided to call that guy. He, de he decided not to pick my calls. So when I went back, one day I decided just let me go and pick my clothes. So when I went back, I found that guy with, a, with another woman. In the same house. In the same house where we were living. Mm -hmm. With the same with another woman, they slept there. They had already t uh, cooked some tea. Mm -hmm. Now the woman had already taken a bath. She has already dressed my clothes. Mm -hmm. Your clothes? Yes. And uh, I found the, the lady sleeping uh, under my bed. She was on my bed. Mm -hmm. Now I had nothing to do because of that. I still I don't have um, I don't have strength because you were just fresh from giving birth. No, I have not even given birth. Mm -hmm. I was just sick at the hospital oh. for one week. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have strength, you know. So I'm going back. Founding my man has done for me like that. Mm -hmm. So when I asked, the guy told me you can go. Mm -hmm. You know, before even start packing the guy started packing for me she he picks my bags and throw them away he threw your bags away you know the guy throw my bags away mm. and remember by that time i don't have even one shillings to go and i had my first born already uh, he, by that time he was also unwell mm -hmm. now i'm sick and he is also sick mm -hmm. i have nowhere to go mm -hmm. 
now he she has decided to throw my bags away mm -hmm. the the stepmother the the mother-in-law the mother-in-law now the mother to that boy, my man mm -hmm. she came and told me you can now go my son wants to go to another woman's house and then she t she told the, the the son you can go and live with that woman even one week or even one month the other woman who was in the home you bless you must stay in the house yes by the did you uh, did you go into conversation with this woman asking her maybe what and why she, what she'd come to do if she knew you were the wife of the house why she was wearing your clothes did she answer those questions <laughs> okay i asked her okay you are the one who who, who always we call this man until late in the hour in the late hours mm -hmm. and then she told me you can ask the man don't ask me mm -hmm. now and I, I i asked him her again why are you putting up my dresses and uh, using even my my soap to take bath here mm -hmm. the woman told me go and ask that man you are not supposed to ask me those silly questions mm -hmm. you know and by that time i'm i'm not strong i i'm not capable of quarreling anybody mm -hmm. i just sit i by that time i seated just in the chair mm -hmm. uh -huh. I only what I could do, do I was just crying mm -hmm. because by that time the guy has decided to throw my bags away mm -hmm. now I'm going to my grandmother's place and at my grandmother's place my uncle could not even sustain me to live there mm -hmm. because I don't have any even place to go the only place I can go it's there now when I went there I tried I tried to stay there with my grandmother no way to to no way nothing sometimes we sleep angry without eating mm -hmm. and remember I'm not I'm not strong by that time mm -hmm. and my son is supposed to go to school I don't have money my mother no day she has decided even to come and see me mm -hmm. so I was one week at home one week at the hospital sometimes I'm admitted when i'm at the hospital nobody comes to see you mm -hmm. nobody nobody even comes to see you bring for you even just water mm -hmm. even my mom she didn't come so. because the stepfather just told her not to come to see me mm -hmm. so just friends they you my friends they used to come and see me and then they go back mm -hmm. no after i after coming from the hospital i go back to my uh, my grandmother's place again mm -hmm. just sitting there until when i gave birth mm -hmm. after giving birth so this man who is sitting with another woman yes i decided not to go back to that man mm -hmm. i decided to stay with my grandmother mm -hmm. so until i gave birth despite mm -hmm. there were challenges you can sleep hungry my uncle can decide not to give you food because remember my grandmother mm -hmm. mm -hmm she's old she cannot do everything to herself mm -hmm. now even me i don't have money to support my grandmother mm -hmm. now sometimes we just sleep mm -hmm. after giving birth i came back to my my grandmother's home after coming back back to grandmother's house mm -hmm. now the first day when i i i was given off from the hospital mm -hmm. i just sleep if hungry with my son again the first born and the, the new born mm -hmm. i sleep hungry now by that th th that period now the, the my son the second born was to one week i go back to the hospital and then come back so after that the guy even he had not even he could not even ask you how we are doing mm -hmm. or what he has he has blocked me everywhere mm -hmm. now one day he decided to look for me again mm -hmm. so th by that time my son the second born was one month mm -hmm. so I, after that because of the environment that i was in i just decided to go back after all that he has done to me mm -hmm. so when i went there i didn't know that this guy has been affected mm -hmm. with another woman so when i went there that my mind didn't even run to tell him we can go and be tested mm -hmm. now i stayed there for some while again we break up 
after breaking up I go back to my grandmother so <laughs> stayed there so I said my first born is supposed to go to school the second one needs to eat needs everything and i'm the father and i'm the mother mm -hmm. now why can't i go to nairobi and look for a job mm -hmm. so i came to nairobi started looking for a job when my son was two months older i can take him to the daycare oh you came with the baby yes i came with the baby but the first born i left at, i left him at home with my grandmother mm -hmm. now i'm with this newborn and i but the and still i don't have i don't the, the person whom i was staying with by that time when i, I had no job mm -hmm. she can leave the house left for me just leave for me 10 of shillings mm -hmm. she could live and tell me that you will take lunch with that money i don't have money mm -hmm. now because i have nothing and i have no i have nowhere to go i just as, accepted that i i could even take that 10 bob just buy some skuma wiki uh -huh. make some mugali without even it could it, it could not even sustain me with the uh -huh. kid because kid that boy could even need so many things uh -huh. after that i look for another job now i decided to live alone uh -huh. i started living without even mattress i just sleep I, I take my clothes, uh -huh. put it on the floor, and then I sleep with my son. Uh -huh. Now, by good luck, I found a job at the Nairobi University uh -huh. where we were doing cleaning there. Though the salary, there were, there were late payment at the Nairobi University. Oh, you Now, were cleaning? Yeah, we were doing cleaning at the hostels. Uh -huh. Now, there were late payments. You can go two months, you have not been paid, and I have a boy to to take care of the other one is at home he needs to go to school and the worst thing is the second born was disturbing me with sicknesses so one day he was sick to an serious he was dying the second born so i don't have even one bob now i decided to go to a certain hospital called amref when i went there i found another doctor a nurse and i tried to explain for her by she told me let your son be be treated mm -hmm. i will pay for me i will pay for you the 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 charges mm -hmm. she paid for me the charges and then we went back now by that period mm -hmm. i had my mind have not even run that i can go to the nearby chemistry or even hospital take the hiv kids and uh, see if i'm okay plus my son so when i was continue working at the nairobi university my son used to every week he is sick every week he is sick or every two weeks he is sick and me i was just weak i was weak than before mm -hmm. so i asked why am nowadays i'm just weak mm -hmm. i have so one day at the nairobi university my working mate mm -hmm. she was called noel noel why are you losing weight Yes, I'm, I was losing weight day by day. Mm -hmm. So maybe I said, maybe it's stress because that's why I'm losing weight mm -hmm. day by day. So I didn't think that maybe it's another thing, not stress. Mm -hmm. So after one day, Noel told me, Josephine, today university have decided to give free. You can go and you can go the there. City. Yes, you can go and be tested. They give you even one bottle of soda and some biscuits can we go and take it for lunch today oh they were when you test hiv they were giving you soda and biscuits yes. just to motivate people for testing yes mm -hmm. now we because of that noel made me to go and mm -hmm. be tested now the person who, te who, who tested me was the doctor of that university she was she he was dealing with the students mm -hmm. now after that because he she knew me he told she knew you yes she told me you, after that test she took the kit she take she took that kit and uh, put it in the pocket and then told me you could you you if you get time just come in into my office and see me because of that i was stressed up and asked myself why this doctor telling me to go to the his office and see him now i was just 
I'm taking that soda, but my heart is not okay. I'm not comfortable by that time. No, I just get courage and went there. When I went there, she he, she told me, now you can sit. I want to, to give you another kit and test you now. And then I said, it's okay. And then th there's two types of those kits. And then the first one, I told him, maybe you can bring the perfect one so that I can see if it's true or uh, you are lying. That well, the I'm, first one, I already shown that you're positive. No, it... it the first one shows that I'm positive, but I could not even accept. Mm -hmm. I wanted him again to do the test again. I told him, you can still do it again, doctor. I just request you to do, or you can give me that kit because I'm capable of doing it. Mm -hmm. Let me do it. And then I do it to it my, to myself. Mm -hmm. When I do it, I the result was the same. Now, by that time, I cried and fell. But I lose... I could not even talk. I fainted by that time mm -hmm. and taken to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So for me to accept after from getting out of that hospital, it was not easy. Mm -hmm. They gave me one week off at, to be at, in the house with my son. So now the thing that ran when I was getting out from that hospital, mm -hmm. the question was now, is my son affected? <laughs> Now, when I came out from that hospital, I went where I, I, I usually take my son for daycare. Mm -hmm. I took my son direct to the chemist. I asked the, the guy whom I found there, can you test for me this boy? Mm -hmm. He told me, yes. How much do you pay? He told me 100 shillings. I told, me, I told him, you can do for me. When he, do, he, he did it, when I'm sitting there seeing it, when I see it, I found my son was affected. I had no way to do. It was so bitter for me because the, the child was just innocent. And remember by that time, the father does nothing. He supports me. I'm the one living with him from that time until after getting from that KST, mm -hmm. it was not easy for me to accept. Mm -hmm. It was not easy for me. I cried the whole night. Mm -hmm. So after finishing that, the whole night, the whole week, I have not gone even to work. I'm just crying. You see, you're shocked. Yes. And I, I cannot even explain to my step stepsisters or father, even my mom. I cannot explain that to her mm -hmm. or my elders. Those my elder brothers and sister who are my step brothers, mm -hmm. I could not even tell them my side of story. Mm -hmm. So I only the the, the, the person who get tests to my son told me I will trans I will prefer for you to go to Coptic Hospital. Mm -hmm. You will go and see a certain doctor there. Mm -hmm. I decided. After crying, I just tell God, God, just give me that courage. Mm -hmm. Because now it's me and my son. Yeah. I have no other way to do. I have nobody to take care of me. And if even now, if I said I want to go and take those medicines, those drugs, I have nobody to take to look after these two boys. Now, and I asked God, just give me courage. Mm -hmm. And actually, God gave me courage. I went to Coptic Hospital and started taking my drugs there. Though Coptic Hospital is in Nairobi town. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, after going there, I, now I was taking drugs from there. Now we are taking drugs. We had no food. And no. The, you and your sons. Your mm -hmm. sons were also affected, infected with HIV. Yeah. Only one son. Oh, the last one. The second one was affected at me. Mm -hmm. Now remember, we are going there to take drugs mm -hmm. at the specific date which we were written with the doctor. Now we are coming back. The doctor prescription is don't take those drugs before you eat. Now because the drugs are very powerful, mm -hmm. if you take them before eating, you will just sleep there. You will not have even that strength to stand up. Mm -hmm. Now sometimes. 
we take those drugs without eating because I don't have even just water in the house mm-hmm. even to give this boy. Yeah. I just ask my neighbor, just give me one jug of water so that I can, I want to use it. Mm-hmm. I don't explain anything. I just take water, come back to my house, give that boy the drug plus me. But now we are using those drugs. We won't wake up tomorrow mm-hmm. because now it's very powerful. Mm-hmm. It cannot even make us to wake up because we, we take it without eating. Mm-hmm. Now you are I'm taking it. I'm supposed tomorrow to go to work because I'm the father, I'm the mother, I'm the one who the breadwinner. Yes, of that house. Mm-hmm. When I go there, I'm going to at work, I'm working without eating. My son is at the daycare sometimes. I just tell that woman, if you are giving your son even porridge, make sure you give him even this boy even just half of the cup of that porridge. Mm-hmm. Now my son, now we are using and we, those drugs, we have not even gained weight because we are not eating, we are stressed up. The boy has no, uh, the, the balanced diet is not there for him. Mm-hmm. He's just weak. Mm-hmm. I could, now the doctor the doctor decided that I could be given that uh, they could even I go for I, they look for me somebody who can talk to me because now already I had by that time I lost hope. Mm-hmm. Because I don't have food, I don't know how to even support this boy, even to get that balanced diet, mm-hmm. so that he cannot be weak, and he needs to eat. Um, I need to pay rent, and so now why one day, I didn't have even one bob to give landlord. Landlord decided to come with the padlock, lock my door. Mm-hmm. The drugs are in the house. I don't know what to do. I don't. I don't. I don't have anything. I'm not capable of doing anything. I don't have a job by that time because our contract already has expired at Nairobi University. Mm -hmm. Now we are just there sometimes. Now I decided to go at the Mjengo Mm -hmm. where these men are there. Construction site. Yeah, that construction site. Yeah, now you get a farm and there it gives you a fundi so that maybe it's plaster. You are the, the fund is doing plaster. Now the foreman is telling you you bring even four bags of uh, cement. cement. Now you want to carry this thing and now I this cement is affecting me because by that time at the hospital they have given me the the the, the tablets for TB so that the t- tuberculosis is, is not is not supposed to affect me by that time mm-hmm. now i'm using tb medicine and i'm using the other ARVs medicine and i now i don't have even a job um it, it is a must so that i go to the construction site even so that they can give, only give me a phone day mm-hmm. i work with him so that even if it's on saturday they give me even that two thousand shillings i come and pay rent sometimes i don't have even a food so after paying rent i just remain with nothing on the pocket mm-hmm. I would just be like that, so be hungry again with my son. Mm-hmm. I'm using the TB medicines. Tomorrow you are going back to the... To the, the cycle continues. Yes, you are going to the construction site. Mm-hmm. Now when you will go there, the construction site wants you to, to be strong. You must eat. And if you don't, maybe you are working at the 10th floor. The foreman is telling you, go and bring the cement at the basement. You are going to the basement. You give the, the, the you have you have fully maybe four bags of cement, the the soil this sandy soil. Mm-hmm. You are supposed to give the fully water. You mixed for her for him, so that he can he can start working. Mm-hmm. Maybe the, the cement is. Is not there again. Even maybe at at lunch time, you are going back again to bring another cement. And you, uh, at that time, you have even not taken lunch. Mm-hmm. And yesterday, remember, you slept with without eating, and nobody can borrow from him or her. Mm-hmm. I just decided to keep it to myself. Mm-hmm. Now it continues like that. Now my my, my firstborn now decided to come because 
Now my grandfather, grandfather died, passed away. Mm -hmm. My uncle who could even help my firstborn, he developed cancer. He was taken to the hospital. Now he stayed there like two months at the hospital. I decided to pick my son. Now th these two people, they want to go to school because I have them. I am the father. I'm the breadwinner of that house. Mm -hmm. I don't have even one shilling to take them to school. Mm -hmm. They need to eat. Now sometimes I'm stressed up. Even if I said, let me today wake up and go and look for a job. Mm -hmm. When I went there, somebody's giving you 500 shillings and the only job you are going to do, it's too much more than, more, more than that 500 shillings. And you, just, you must just do it. You just be humble and do it mm -hmm. because you, you have kids to eat and you some needs. Mm -hmm. So I just do it. My, Sometimes you go there, you start doing it. Maybe yesterday I didn't eat. I don't have strength. I, I'm feeling headache. Mm -hmm. So I must sleep for some even 20 minutes at that work. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, after sleeping like 20 minutes mm -hmm. is when I can wake up. So I um, have gave, g gained some strength mm -hmm. so that I can start working. Now, maybe you say, hey, to, to, tomorrow, let me go at a construction site. Maybe you see where the, the construction is done. Maybe they are washing mm -hmm. the houses. You are given even two rooms, even the second floor, third. You do it at the same day. You are doing it. You are not feeling good. You are sick. Sometimes at home, uh, in the house, I've left my son without even lunch. They are like they are just there. Take, they have taken even nothing. I just fear even telling my mom that I'm like this and this. So this thing is happening till now, as we speak. Yes, that this thing is happening until now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I fear even telling my mom or, or my step or my step brothers mm -hmm. that I'm affected. You're infected. Yes. I fear to tell them that I'm like, uh, right now I'm not good. So when I have a problem, instead of asking, in the event, I can even ask help from somebody else. Mm -hmm. Rather than them. Rather than them, because if I tell them, they will laugh at me. They are mental. Yes, they will judge me badly. Now, because of that, I, I, I just all, I always just decide to keep it to myself. If mm -hmm. I don't have food, and I'm trying to ask, look for that food, mm -hmm. and I'm not getting it for that day, I just tell my yeah. boys, today we are not going to eat because I don't have other way of eating, other way of giving you food, mm -hmm. so you can just accept mm -hmm. and sleep. Yes. So I'm so sorry for your experience. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. Getting it from your first point where you were molested by your own. I don't know if even if it's your step brother. This is your blood. This is your brother. Right? Yes. That one you have no right. You have no voice. Because no one can hear you. No one can give you a he an ear. No one can hear your voice. Your stepmother, her hands are tied. You come through all these struggles, you find a man who ends up cheating on you when you're sick in the hospital. Yes. Only to discover that from your story, maybe at that time it's when you were infected, but you never knew. Yes. Coming to know of it, your parents, you can't disclose this to them since they are judgmental. Stigmatization with HIV and AIDS. I'm sure it was high at that time. The struggle still continues. You find yourself as a lady in the construction sites. That's why I always tell my people that don't judge a woman. When you see a lady trying to struggle in the Mjengo, she's trying to make ends meet. But the root cause of all these are actually men, the people, our families causing all this. I'm so sorry for your experience, but at least you've come to share it with us, with the community. I know the tears represent a lot of pain, but believe me not, there are people who have come through this. Right? There are people who have conquered.
and i'm sure a lot of women will stand with you will support you will give you all the kind of support that you need i'm sure companies will come through building you a place finding you some just a, so, a place a soulless place where you can rest hiv is not end of life right yes i'm sure today maybe your mom your stepdad will be watching this will know this and will learn a lot they won't judge you again right don't even tell them i'm sure this video will reach them right just take the courage congratulations for for raising your kids up to this point i know it has not been easy but maybe your story will be changing this day right let's keep up in it if a person maybe wants to reach you for support for anything just to pray with you to cancel you where can they find you they can just call me because at this time i still i don't have that phone which i can use on whatsapp or facebook yes but you are is that was that pastor do you go to that church elevation no i i went just there one day mm-hmm. it was just a, an evening prayer until that time mm-hmm. i've not gone there how do you do you trust the pastor can she be of help can can he be a mentor no not really yes it's fine so where can these people find you they can just call me oh, Come, yes call me tell us your number 0792 mm-hmm. 9709 22 mm-hmm. yes names josephine akinyi moya Josephine Akinyi Moya I would love it to see a smile on Josephine's face when I meet him after you people have watched his video have sympathized with her have stood with her given her a lot of hope I will be so glad and I'm sure the heaven will with the heavens will also be happy the angels will be happy I promise you that no matter the time however long it takes someone somewhere will find this video and that someone or those people will give you hope again right okay yeah my good people remember the video has been sponsored by olive trust developers they sell lands at cheaper prices affordable prices support them too their number is always on my video and if you have such an amazing story you feel like you want to share you want this this thing to get of you this burden just hit my number i'm always on and it is 0758527229 bob shakwila welcome all to bob shakwila show till we meet again this has been your host bob shakwila on bob shakwila show bye bye god bless you